Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an Arthur Morgan build from Red Dead Redemption 2 to play in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Hopefully what I said right there makes sense. And uh, it's gonna be, you know, like a sort of like a Wild West style. And I just thought that this would be an interesting video to make and to anyone who might be interested in this build so this video is for you if that's what you're interested so in order to make this build work you're going to need these mods for the game so the first mod to get is uh, Arthur Morgan replaces Leon which is this one right here it's basically just a skin or you know Arthur's model over Leon's it looks pretty good uh, looks exactly like the one from Red Dead Redemption 2 so you want to go down this one next you want to download the RE8 revolver and the re this is gonna this gun model uh, the revolver right here is going to replace the butterfly the broken butterfly so this is the next one the next mod you want to download to you know give it more of a like a wild west style to give it more of like a wild like a wild west feel to match up with you know more uh arthur morgan's play style and his look because you know he's from the wild west and he's a uh, i guess he, he has the cowboy and bandit ish look so this gun will fit in with his looks and his style and um just to let you guys know this is not a one-handed gun as a matter of fact i don't think there's any gun in resident evil 4 remake that you only use one hand to wield every gun it is used with two hands even if it's a handgun so if you guys are like looking and you want to play with one hand like how arthur morgan only shoots with one hand i don't think there's anything like that in resident evil 4 remake and also, it's not even in the mods, like, sure, right here is just a picture of them holding one hand, but once you're really in combat, you hold, um, you're gonna hold two hands like this. So I just wanted to point that out in case some of you guys are wondering, you know, oh, you want to shoot one-handed like Arthur Morgan from RDR2, but no, they don't have that. Um, second one is this one. I, I did not use this one for my Arthur build, but this is optional. So if you want to go for this one to get a better skull shaker, you can. I think this just kind of like makes it more beefier, increases its damage and all that. But I don't recommend it. I mean, if you want to use it, yes, but like it's not necessary because once you max level it up, it's good to go already. And the next mod that I recommend, and which is one of the most important ones for this Arthur build for the Wild West playstyle, is uh, to get this mod weapon become unlimited like hand canyon and parentheses knife added so this is to make your gun infinite and to also shoot without reloading the reason why i recommend this is because you know what it just makes the gun better you can shoot as much as you want and you can shoot without reloading and it's just like you're just gonna pull the trigger or hold down your button and just shoot like crazy with the shotgun and then arthur is just gonna shoot and flip his gun or shoot and then pull the leverage and shoot and pull so it's gonna be like really fast but if you don't do unlimited ammo or infinite ammo then he's just probably only gonna shoot the most is like six or like ten i don't know what's the um max amount of ammo it could hold for the skull shaker but that's uh, but it, it, it wouldn't be fun because it's going to be reloading too much so that's why i recommend you play infinite with this build and um just to let you guys know i just pulled these up to show you guys what the skull shaker is so this is the skull shaker this is the gun the shotgun it's like an old fashioned gun or a very old classic sh shotgun like from way back in the old days this is the shotgun that I recommend you to use so it could like um, match up with his builds, his play style because you know back in the old days they used this kind of shotgun. I don't even know if that's the real name Skull Shaker but that's just what they call it in Resident Evil 4 Remake. Yeah so this will really match up and it just will match up with uh, 
Arthur's playstyle for like a Wild West field feel. <laughs> and uh, the next one I recommend, uh, it's a gun. This one was optional too. I did not use it, but if you want to, you can. Uh, you can use this one for Arthur's playstyle for, you know, Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, you must be wondering why this one. Well, because in, if you are wondering, uh, in RDR2, you can actually get a gun like this in the game. And so if you want to use like a gun like that from RDR2, the Red 9 is pretty much the exact same copy of that game gun model. I don't even know if the Red 9 is the real name of this gun because I think this is like a the real brand name for this gun is it's a completely different name completely different name and um yeah this is like the next mo model gun that i recommend you to use because arthur you can get give this gun to arthur in rdr2 so if you want to give this to give it much more of like a arthur feel from rdr2 then yes this one <laughs> excuse me if i'm repeating myself a lot i feel like i'm repeating myself uh another mod that i recommend but it's not necessary but this is optional too if you want to have a tighter shotgun spread then you go you can go for like this one right here so as you can see from the before and after comparison picture the one on the right side they're all like a tighter uh spread shot for a shotgun damage so if you want to use this you can i did not use it for mine i just upgrade mine regularly and then after that i just you know went on with it um oh yeah and something if something i forgot to mention about this weapon become unlimited like hand cannon knife this mod right here that makes your gun infinite you can only get your gun infinite if you max out the level or if you buy the ticket then you can use that ticket to upgrade whatever gun you want then it will make it infinite but you have to use this mod in order to be um uh, activate that process that i'm talking about or not the process but in order to make it infinite you need that ticket or upgrade everything and then upgrade the very last bottom one to max it out and then it will become infinite and then another one another uh optional mod for this build if you want to use is uh max stack size like if you play and you don't want to use infinite uh ammo and you you don't mind reloading you don't mind like shooting only like eight or ten times only and you just want to have limited ammo then you could just use this max stack size so this is something optional so basically what this does is you know if you play a new game or a new game plus and let's just say you collected a bunch of shotgun ammo and you just want to be able to stack them all into one single box then yes download this mod and just do that and you could just you know play like that if you want to without uh, infinite ammo but i highly recommend the infinite ammo because it's better so it's very important to note or information that i would like i recommend you guys to do is when you download these mods be sure to read the description here which is on the left side right here where i'm like moving my mouse you want to read uh these description before you download it just in case if you know it might confuse you and when you look at the files and you want to download these mods be sure to look and read carefully which file and which mod you want to download because you don't want to download an old old file or a version that's not working uh, just want to point that out for you guys to know and another important thing that another important thing that like, i think you guys should know is that um like i mentioned this about this mod right here the weapon become unlimited like hand cannon for this mod you won't be able if you start a new game like a brand brand new fresh game you won't be able to max level your gun until you hit well like chapter eight or nine that's when you can fully fully upgrade it to the max level then you can make it infinite now if you don't want to do that and you don't want to wait for that then you can just go to your new game plus because you know in new game plus the merchant is already there and you've already have you know enough currencies and you're pretty much geared up you could just you know play it on your new game plus and upgrade uh, your weapon there and just get an infinite from there or you could just you know go to the 
store, like the in-game store, you know, as Steam. And you just buy all those tickets. You have to use real life money, it costs like a few bucks. And you can just use those tickets to upgrade your gun to make it max level. And then, you know, use while having this mod here activated. But that's up to you guys, you know, it's, I know me saying all this stuff might be kind of complicated, but yeah, I just want to point that out because I think that it might be important. And uh, if you're watching this, uh, thanks for watching, uh, like, share, and subscribe. It can really help me grow my YouTube channel.